Hello. Hello. Excuse our bare faces, mine bare-ish faces, because we are going to be actually doing makeup looks in this video. And I put foundation on first thinking that would be better than just my actual face. And it isn't. It's so much worse. It's so, so much worse. I literally look like the kid from The Grudge. Uh, also, I shaved my eyebrows recently, like only a few weeks ago. So I'm still kind of getting used to drawing them on and stuff. But it's perfect timing for this video, I suppose. Today we are back with a new series on the channel, one that we've been wanting to do for quite a while. Basically what it's going to be is us picking different sub-styles of alternative subcultures, talking about them a bit, and then doing our best to replicate them makeup and outfit-wise. And what better way to start off than trad goth? I can't do lines. Please help. It's all lines. It's all angles and lines. And that, I just can't do that at all. My makeup is, is always just it's just, just circles, um, splendid circles. circles. It's My not... face is a circle, I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do. It's just so angular, but it is something I've wanted to do for a good while because I've never actually done a trad goth makeup and I've always thought that it looked really, really cool and striking. You have done a trad goth makeup in the yeah, past. Yeah, recently, only a few couple of weeks ago, I did one. I think I had eyebrows at that point. Somehow I covered them up and drew on the eyebrows. So trad goth, contrary to popular belief, is actually a sub-style of goth that popped up in the late 90s to early 2000s as a callback to the original like goth style. We'd branched off a lot in the goth subculture then and people start doing trad goth looks as in throwbacks to the original like gothic style back cave era fashion because as you know nobody back in the late 70s and early 80s were actually calling themselves goth. Are you a goth? No. You consider yourself a goth? Um, no. Never mind calling themselves trad goth. So it is actually a later substyle that came up that just kind of harkened back and took the original OG goth look. So it's technically both, but the modern day trad goth is just based on the original aesthetics of goth fashion and back cave fashion. The makeup's heavily inspired by the late 70s, early 80s goth. Susie Sue eyeliner makeup looks and stuff like that. It's a very true modern representation of the old original goth look. It's a very 80s inspired look and aesthetic. It has lots of like striking angular makeup and eyeliner and then it's obviously got like 80s DIY thrifted inspired clothing aspect. What comes to your mind when you think trad goth? I just think rosary beads straight away. <laughs> But unfortunately it's the common one. I just think of like Susie mostly for and that's where I go for makeup inspiration for this look. You could kind of think of it as well like because some people do trad goth looks now. Their own take on it as well. So if you were to look it up right now you would probably see like Susie Sue type of looks with more added on. Like extra lines like obviously everyone now with their makeup it's so extreme now. But I think we're probably going to stray away from that. I don't know what I'm going to do to be honest. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my best. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my best. For me, when I think of trad goth, I think Susie Sue eyeliner, mm. like the angular eyeliner. I think big hair, big, big hair. And I think winkle pickers, like pikes, pointy shoes, tons of jewelry and accessories and stuff, oh, and rosary beads and things. Mm. That in my mind is like, that's straight where I go with trad goth. So that's things I'm gonna struggle with. The makeup wise, all the angular lines, I suck at like drawing lines. I'm really shaky and stuff. So it's really hard for me to draw like straight lines and stuff in makeup. And then two, big hair, because hair is a resource that I am losing a lot of lately. I didn't straighten my hair, which is why, why I look even weirder than just the foundation. Mm. I didn't straighten my hair because I thought if I didn't straighten it, I'd have more volume. And I'm hoping that by back home and putting a bunch of hairspray into it, I'm going to fake the big hair look. But yeah, I tried got to mostly listen to it like goth music, gothic rock, post-punk music. It's all kind of inspired by like that era and genre of music. So first what we're going to do is we're going to do our makeups and then we're going to put our outfits together. And then we are hopefully going to actually shoot some footage of us where you can see all of us. You can see our whole bodies finally putting our green screen to use. If it's not in this video, then I apologize. It didn't work out and it sucked. But yeah, that's the plan. So yeah, let's get into doing our makeup and we'll try our best to like show you guys what we are doing as we go. I think I'm going to start by trying to do the eyebrows. I think that's my best bet because I'll know if I've screwed up this entire makeup. 
like within two seconds if I mess up the eyebrows. Yeah, I'll probably start with the eyebrows. Like, would I use a liquid eyeliner? Well, I use pen liquid eyeliners. I don't know about liquid eyeliners. I find like they're really hard to actually stabilize. Yeah, like I have a pen. I have an apple. And I'm gonna do my best to draw on the angular like lines and stuff. Okay, I drew a line. I think I came too far in on my nose. Okay, it's it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's hard because you have real eyebrows. Yeah, I'm trying to like match it up to my eyebrows. Yeah, then I have to get into my actual eyes. My eyebrows. Oh no! No, I was doing so well. So I'm afraid to even like talk. I'm like, no, it's, it's okay. eyebrow time. Don't talk. Talk no, to her foundation, okay. not eyebrow talk. time. I would hate if someone talked while I was doing my eye like eyeliner. The vibrations of someone even talking can just fuck up the lines. Yeah, first I'm just putting on some mega conceal makeup obsession. It looks a lot paler on camera. Then I'm gonna use the Carter Beauty. It's the foundation that Connor uses. Now I'm using it because he bought a lot. It was on sale because they were stopping selling it somewhere and I bought like all of their last supply. I mean, I guess it's pretty pale. So I have like 10 bottles. It is really pale, like, so I don't have to mix it with anything. Also, like, I just, I, I have no, like, right way of doing things. I kind of just literally throw stuff on my face, as you will see. Probably not the right way of doing things, but it works for me. I just, like, mix it all together. Sometimes I even just put my concealer on and then put the foundation on over the concealer and don't even bother setting in the concealer, which I don't know if that's bad, but if you don't have time, then why not? Oh yeah, and I forgot to say that I used the Sour Patch Kids setting spray. Which I don't know if I'd recommend it, but it smells really good. It's not the best one that I ever had, but it does the job and it's pretty refreshing. I'm hoping to get this done so I can do my set my eyebrow the time same time you were doing your second eyebrow. What are you already on your second eyebrow? I am on my second eyebrow. Oh, God damn it, I want it is not going time. well, guys. <laughs> looks so vampire. I look like Birdman. <laughs> I'm gonna try catch up real quick with Connor, but um, funny enough, I'm, something that I do often is I have to go back and look at a picture of my own makeup that I did last time because I'm like, I don't know how I even did that. I look back and I'm like, how did I do that? Yeah, I have no pictures from when I actually did this makeup, but uh, I do have a screenshot that somebody took on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Terrifying. Mike. Shout out to Mike. Thanks for that. Terrifying. I don't really like what I did there either, so I'm kind of just like, hmm, maybe I should wing it. It's so black in comparison to my eyebrows that I'm hoping that when I fill in my eyebrows, it won't look as dumb. I'm probably wrong. Probably. So we'll see. Help. Help. I'm so shaky. I'm so shaky. All right, so I am gonna try fill in the rest of my eyebrows with black eyeshadow in the hope that it will match. I'm not used to not having eyebrows as guidelines, so I'm struggling. Ugh. Ugh, cause if I try to like, let the camera see what I'm doing, it's awkward for me and I won't do it right. But then if I bend down the way I need to, then you're not gonna see it. Ay ay ay. You're lucky you not having eyebrows because having to work with my natural eyebrows is a pain in the ass. Yeah, because my eyebrows are really fair anyway, so it was easy to cover them, but still use them as a guideline. So I definitely regret shaving my eyebrows. And if somebody asked me, do I recommend it? I would say no. I look like a character from the Mighty Boosh. Like genuinely, I look like a creepy character from the Mighty Boosh. I kept trying to make the lines sharp when it came down and I ended up just making it longer. I might be able to like wipe that off to angle it more. I think I do need to come up more up here. By the way, I'm using the Cap on the tattoo liner because it's my favorite and it's very, very, very expensive, like maybe 18 euro or something. And it doesn't last as long as I wanted it since I use it so often. It's not actually they're owned by Kat Von D anymore. She did sell the brand. I know some people still don't know that. Either way, I still don't want to use it anymore because it's so expensive. I'm going to be trying a new one soon. But if anyone has any recommendations, definitely let me know. Possibly cheap ones because it's expensive. 
I'm wimping out because I'm on camera. Usually I'm just like boom, boom, and I'm like. Okay, I have fixed the top. That's better. It's just the bottom I worry about. I am going to attempt to take off this bottom part here and here and redraw it sharper. So I will be back in a minute. I'm trying to thicken up the line more because I feel like on camera it's not showing up, especially when I turn there, like you can't see the line. So I'm not sure. I guess I could have went further over. Maybe that's the mistake that I made. I'm not sure because I can't really see what I'm doing. And the worst part is then you have to get the other eyebrow to match and it's like, ah, how? How am I going to pull that off? I feel like just going in with the other one now and just hoping for the, the best that it's going to look better with the eyeshadow. <laughs> Already I've done that other eyebrow round compared to the other one because I'm like, wait, how did I do that shape? I completely forget. Okay, I think the trick is to do the bottom line first to get the square edge up on this eyebrow. Because if you try and do that before, well, when I try and do it before, I definitely struggled with it. So what I did was I strategically took it off so that it's pointy. So I like wiped away in a point. So I like, I, mine's like too skinny and, and then yours is just extremely thick. Yeah, I like it more though. Now that it's like, I like wiped it off to be pointy because I just can't, I can't do this. I don't know how you that, make it That so is a pointy. trick for sure. Like if you just get a Q-tip and then just like get a bit of makeup remover and go, that's like an easy way of getting like wing eyeliner and stuff. That's the only way I can ever get lines is if I'm like taking makeup off in a like strategic way to like make it sharp. So now I just think I need to fill this in more. Okay, I think that is honestly the best I'm gonna get even though it's terrible. Because I'm just going to keep taking it off and redoing it and taking it off and redoing it. Why? I think it would be good if you put, if you like, if you do like the rest of the makeup really heavy. Or maybe it's opposite, but I think heavy would be good. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to like make this <laughs> look better. But I just know that I'm going to spend the entire video. It's going to be an hour of me just wiping this off and doing it again. That's been one hour on eyebrows. Yeah, one hour on eyebrows, but they are the most important part. Yeah, it takes a long time for this fair play to anyone that does this every Yeah, day. the lifestyle I... tried got, but how? Oh, I bet they do it in like a second though. Yeah. They're just like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Is it a stamp? Tell me the truth. Is it a stamp? <laughs> I would yeah. like to keep going with mine and to top them up more, but I'm going to stop here because I know I will probably mess it up. So I'm going to play it safe, but I would like to thicken them up a little bit. But I think since it's my first time doing this on camera, I'm going to play it safe. Right. Okay, so next, what are we doing? I am going to do eyeshadow and then that will help me decide what to do with the rest of my face. Okay. So I'm going to do purple just because it's here. Yeah, I really want to do some white eyeliner on the inner eyes. Right, so I am going to put the eyeshadow literally everywhere in the hopes that that balances out this look somewhat. I think I'm kind of too pale. This is not going to show up, especially not on camera. I'm already so pale and with the ring light, I don't know if the white's going to really stand out, but I guess when I do the black eyeshadow, it will. There's so many different ways I could have went about this. Like I always think for some reason of like blue eyeshadow, like glitters and like glittery blue and stuff. That, that was very Susie. Of Susie, like glittery blue eyeshadow and a red lip. For now, I kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to go for a full Susie look right now. Honestly, when I think of Trad Goth, I basically just think of Susie Sue's head on Robert Smith's body. <laughs> What? Like for clothes wise, Hades Robert Smith with Susie Sue's head. I don't know how I'm going to do this because I want to do like um, black eyeliner here to get the shape but because it's so thick it's, it's like not easy to actually do the pointy shape. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to go over that with liner. 
Well, I'm just gonna hope for the best. Yes. I've said on camera maybe a hundred times by now that I suck at makeup. So why did I want to do these videos? I don't know. Maybe I have a humiliation kink or something. <laughs> I think in my head I'm like, yeah, I can do that. That's and good practice. And then I try to do it and I'm like, oh no, yeah, I'm an idiot, I forgot. Makeup has always been really, really hard for me because of my hands and how shaky I am. So we'll start over on the other side. I'm gonna go. The one good thing about not having eyebrows is you can do your eyeshadow all the way up here. You can do your eyeliner all the way up here. That's the one. Yeah, that's one thing. of the reasons um, I really want to shave mine. Yeah. Just because you, you can just keep going. Without even realizing that I, I, I was just going, I just kept going. I'm literally going to be like, hey, let's not upload this video because look at me. Maybe this will make, maybe this will make people stop asking me to do makeup tutorial videos with you. Because they'll be like, oh God. Well, I, I messed that up. Um, I wanted to go higher up with it and I played it safe because I was shaking. So I'm going to do it again. I'm kind of doing the wing smaller than I wanted just because this is like about to run. keep being like hey this doesn't look so bad and then I see it on camera and I'm like oh <laughs> never mind you gotta trust the process I have no trust in my process it looks way weirder on camera than it does in real life unless I'm just at a bad angle lighting wise Because I have hooded eyes, I have to like open my eye and then draw in the lines there because it's just gaps and it's gotta look like that. It's gonna be more of a bat wing, I suppose. I'm probably just gonna do eyeshadow over it anyway, but it's just not thick enough. It's not, it's like, like what you're saying, like it's different on camera than it is in my mirror, so I'm like, what is going on? And then the worst part is you gotta do it again on the other eye. Yeah, this is my next worry now, is now I have to do the inner eyeliner. Yeah, I want to try do like an inner. See, I don't know if I want to do it like that around my hood. No, it's not right. Or if I want to do just like down, like I've done, I did in a previous look where I just had it come down from my eye, like the corner of my eye. But if I do that, I don't know what to do do with it. Right, again, I'm using a beauty blender to like try shape this better. See, I don't know. I don't know if I want to follow the shape of my hood around and down or if I want to literally just line from my eye down. Screw it, we're trying it. I'm gonna give that a break for a minute because it's like wasted and I don't know how I'm gonna do another eye. I forgot I have all of this space now to do eyeshadow. Oh my god, we can go big with this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my. And then we can go down here. Maybe. No. Yes. I don't know. Oops. I don't know. Was I supposed to do that? Help. Oh no. I don't know what I've done. I don't do like nose contour. <laughs> but I guess I do now. Again, this needs to be sharp and it is not. So I'm not quite sure. I'm probably gonna end up just taking it off again strategically. I think I messed up. I was like, yeah, this is fun, but that shouldn't be there. Cause I wanted to go, I actually wanted to go more down here to do the line down here. Maybe I could have two lines. I don't know, I feel like my eye might look smaller if I do that. Do you know, maybe I'll just keep going. Cause I don't wanna go and take it off. We're, we're, we're doing, we're, we're doing a nose contour for the first time ever, I guess. Something that I don't do. I have already screwed this up. <laughs> I think I might the rest of my up too. I feel like my nose is bumpy or something, I contoured the wrong way. I never wanna have to do that. Um, but I like this, this is cool. Oops. So I think I'm going to fill this in 
with black eyeshadow and blend it to look. See how terrible this line is? I'm gonna fill in black eyeshadow in there and then blend it so it looks like it's on purpose. Also don't mind that line there, that's just where I'm gonna be filling in after. Maybe you're not, I guess you're not really supposed to blend too much actually. Oh God, why did I do this to my nose? Oh no, I don't like it. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I've made it worse. I, oh my god, now, now it's... Look at me. No, yeah, now, yeah, we can't both be... <laughs> <laughs> she just said we can't both be bad. No, stop. Alright, this is working out. I don't hate this. You can still kind of see that terrible line I did, but slowly blending it so it's not as bad. Yeah, so nose contour is not my thing and I shouldn't have been like, oh, this is fun, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take it off. Um, or maybe if I like do this, I could be like a bit snatched maybe, I don't know. This looks fine when my eyes are open. So that might do. Is that cool or not? I can't tell. Yeah. No, I feel like I look like a badger. This makeup is, is definitely the makeup that takes the longest. Like, all other makeups I think don't take me this long. stylistically the hardest, yeah. It's so hard. Like, I think as well, like, obviously if I was doing it more often, I think I would be faster at it. But at the end of the day, I think no matter how much you do this, it's always going to take more time than uh, most makeups because there's so much involved in it. Yeah, plus I usually don't care, like how my makeup's going to turn out because I'm just kind of just throwing things at the wall basically I'm just like yeah whatever see how that goes because it's meant to be messy whereas this is very like precision mm -hmm. right so now as you can see I have I have drawn thick lines on the inside in the hope that I can take them off and make them sharp. Yeah, that's okay. I can live with that. Now I just somehow need to get foundation back into the parts I took it off. Oh, I, I shouldn't have done it. God of thunder oh, no. and rock and roll. Do, 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 do. I was like, I'm doing it. I should not have done it. The spell you're It's kind of cool. Is it kind of cool? I don't it's know. It's cool. It is cool. It's not right. It would look it's... really cool on Gene Simmons. All right. I am going to try fill in purple between these two and then it's lipstick, contour, and done. I really, I need to stop because I can't see with the light and I'm just like doing things and then I'm seeing it up here and I'm like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> Oh dear. I can live with that. My subpar makeup skills. Ugh. This is an achievement. Can we just not do the other eye? Can I just look like this? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do with the underneath of my eye. If I should just blend a little bit of black. How am I going to do this other eye? I don't even know what I've done here. Lipstick contour, lipstick contour, lipstick contour. Also, it's so weird not having my neck black, I hate it. But I'm not going to put my own spin on it. I think lipstick, and then I'll do contour. No, contour. Right, I'm going to do contour. Right, I need a big, yeah, a big brush to do contour. So I'm using a big ass brush to do my cheekbone. Anybody gets that reference, I'd be amazed. So now that I have contour on, I need to blend it for ages till it looks like I'm not wearing any. Because that is the only way I know how to do contour. 
Yeah, but for this look as well, though, it's like, yeah, you need to, like, blend it, but it still needs to be, like... Feasible. Bold. And now I have to do that weird line again, even though I don't even know how I did that or what I'm doing. And I think I just brought that down there for some reason. Honestly, I always prefer my contour if I do it and then go over it with foundation so that it's like under it. I'm gonna do what he's doing now and I'm gonna do some contour with this brush. So like I already have natural, a, a natural black line there. Like I have a shadow there anyway, so I can kind of go off that. But sometimes I still mess up even though I have that. I probably shouldn't have followed that line. Oh dear. No, you look good. Oh God, what have I done? That looks like, no, that looks like skeleton. Um, I'm gonna blend it with this. Not so bad. But your beauty blender will be ruined, so you should probably use a brush and not glazy. Like me, but for look. This hmm. is why Connor's like, where does your all your beauty blenders go? <laughs> I am going to attempt to do my lipstick now. I'm just gonna do normal black lipstick. Just like that, I'm Susie Sue. Now I finally get to see Connor. <laughs> now you can see me. Oh my god. It's not that bad <laughs> for how bad I am at makeup. No, it it's not actually bad. It's good. turned I just, out alright. never expected you to go so bold with it. Well, I mean, I, mine looks pretty bold as well. I'm impressed with myself. I thought there was no way I'd be able to do something even remotely okay, but this is not too bad. Obviously the fact that I have actual eyebrows is kind of ruining this here for me, mm. but otherwise... When you have, if you have like thick eyebrows, it's so hard. I'm, I'm thinking, because I don't know, right? Because you're usually going to see the like full reveal in a minute, but I'm thinking of going like Robert Smith style, like white short necklaces and stuff. Don't know, I'm going to try it on and then see see how it looks yeah so what i'm gonna do now off camera is i'm gonna go hairspray and back comb my hair to try get it like like big big hair go totally like wonder if i bring all my hair over to like one side kind of be looks that would, for some reason makes it less emo i would get a mohawk but that would be more like death rock uh, Next yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, we can do Death Rock at some point. But yeah, so I am going to go and attempt to give myself big, big hair. Big, big. Big, big hair. Uh, and then I'm going to throw on my outfit. And Lynn's going to throw on her outfit. And then we will see you in the full, full reveal. So, ah. <laughs> Ta-da! These are our finished looks. I went in a very Robert Smith, white short, tons of jewellery sort of direction. What direction do you call this? <laughs> Basically, the red lips is really Susie inspired, but the rest is kind of just like trad got makeup inspired. But then the lines down here that I did that I messed up, we're just gonna say that's my own thing because I don't know about that. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it goes with the look. Um, other than that, I'm wearing this velvet dress that I got from the charity shop that was like 3 or 4 euro. I borrowed this, these rosary beads from Connor and my own bat necklace and then my shoes also thrifted and they were like 3 euro as well. So Lynn is in very in keeping with the team because if you guys watched their reacting to 80s goths video then this is like straight out of that because they obviously didn't have brands who were doing like gothic clothing back then. So the original goth look was based on thrifted things, anything they could find, like rosary beads as jewellery, cool black dresses and stuff that they found that they managed to mix with like 
ripped fishnets or like witchy tights, stuff like that. Uh, I've gone more in the South Park goth direction. I look like the whole grown up version of the South Park goth outside the school, smoking, dancing and moving from side to side while I think about poetry. So yeah. Thanks so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below and let us know what you thought of our look or not. I don't know, be kind. Also, if you guys enjoyed this series, then please let us know in the comments down below what other styles you want to see us try out in this series. Once again, thank you so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. And until next time, see yeah. you in your nightmares. Yeah.